All right, so today I'm going to be attempting this full face using only highlighters, and there's a ton more down here in front of me because apparently I have more highlighters than I thought I did. Like everyone else has said, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I've never done my face just using highlighters, but I'm curious to see how ridiculous I'm gonna look at the end. All right, the first item is not a highlighter, but I need to prime my eyelids or they're gonna go super crazy on us and it's not gonna be attractive. So I'm using Lorox Behind the Scenes and Benefits Air Patrol. All right, I am looking at these products and I'm honestly a little bit at a loss because they're all so the same. There's really not a lot of tonal differences in these highlighters. But we gotta start somewhere. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Gleam Tones Powder. It's uh, Dunes at Dusk. It is a highlighter, but they have different colors in there. So I'm gonna start with this kind of purpley shade and put that through my crease. Yeah, and because it's a highlighter, there's not a whole lot of pigment in that. <laughs> Alright, for my lid shade, the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam has a few more like actual colors in there. So I think I'm going to take Hard Candy and put that all over the lid. This one's kind of fun because it's got a bit of a duochrome to it. Still pretty pale though. All right, to deepen everything up, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild uh, To Reflect Shimmer Palette, and this one is Sandagria Castles. And this one's a little bit darker if I stick to like the deeper veining. So this is just going in my outer corner. And I'm pulling it through my crease. I actually really like how warm that's made the eyes. It's a little subtle for my taste, but uh, yeah, it works well enough. All right, to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Candlelight Warm Glow, and this is, yeah, just warm glow. And I'm gonna go in with the paler side. To highlight my inner tear duct, I'm gonna go in with the very pale lilac from the MAC Gleam Tones powder. Usually I take a big brush and swirl like the whole thing inside to highlight my cheekbones, but uh, yeah, it's a little more targeted. <laughs> oh, there's the shiny color. That one's coming through. This pale lilac has a lot more vibrancy to it. It's really pulling out the like highlighting tones. All right, for my lower lash line, I'm going to take Mimosa and just put that everywhere. And then a little bit of hard candy again in the outer corner. Although really guys, this is not, not a lot is showing up on my face, I feel like. All right, I'm not gonna be lining my eyes because I really don't have anything that's like a highlighter texture, but I do have to put mascara on. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartist Mascara, and I got this at uh, Gen Beauty. It's a plastic brush, which I have started to prefer more and more over the years, so I'm, I'm really enjoying this one because the formula's nice too. I do find though that I'm way more likely to jab myself in the eyeball with these. <laughs> I don't hate the eyes. I, I think it's quite subtle um, because I tend to prefer more drama, especially with like wing liner and stuff. But I know a lot of people complain about putting, not complain, but they say don't put a shiny color in the crease. Honestly, I don't mind it. It looks a little bit more subtle and fresh. All right, now time to move on to the part that I'm most scared about, the face. So I'm gonna start out with 
highlighting primers. Um, these are the Joe Fresh Illuminating Primers, and this one is Champagne, and this one is Pure Glow, and I'm just gonna mix them together because that's too pale and that's too dark. And I'm just mixing them together on the back of my hand. And now I'm just a disco ball. That is really reflective. It does sink in a little bit. It is good as a primer underneath the foundation, but uh, on its own, I just look like I put like a lot of sunscreen on right now. <laughs> All right, this primer is as dry as it's gonna get. I'm going to try foundation now, and I don't have, sadly, any of the liquid illuminators that like Becca makes or anything like that. The closest thing I have is this Josie Marin Argan Enlightened Illuminizer. Um, you're supposed to mix it with foundation, but I'm going to use it as foundation. Here's the part where I turn into C-3PO. Oh, I gotta say, does anyone not like the smell of argan oil? Oh, I can't stand the scent of it. And I love Josie Marin products, but so many of them have argan oil in them, and I just don't like the scent. Okay, apparently I need a lot more because this is not covering like I would expect foundation to. It's funny how different it feels from foundation. Like it's just almost a little bit burning. Okay, this obviously needs setting, right? All right, I'm gonna set this with my Too Faced Absolutely Invisible Candlelight Powder. This is the original powder, um, soft illuminating translucent powder. I do use it as a highlighter because um, it does have some shimmer particles in it. I'm not sure if it's available anymore because I think they replaced it with the um, the Candlelight Glow Duo Powders, but um, I've got it, so I'm gonna use it. And it's probably my least aggressive highlighter. Okay, I'm a little bit stumped for bronzer because I don't... I just, I guess I don't buy dark highlighters. I think the darkest one I have might be this Dior Amber Diamonds. If I stick to, man, it just looks shiny on camera. If I stick to this sort of area, it might work as bronzer. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Oddly, it works enough. All right, the only thing I knew in this entire video what I was going to be using was for sure what my blush color was going to be, and that was Soap & Glory's Glow All Out. This highlighter is just very pink. Like, it, it doesn't show up really as a highlighter on me. There's just, it's just a blush, in my opinion. So I'm hoping it'll layer on top of this, otherwise I'll go in with something else. All right, so to pack this one on, I'm gonna use a denser brush and try to get this to layer. adding a little bit, but I feel like my face is <laughs> too shiny. If anything, it's kind of mattifying it. <laughs> Didn't feel like it was enough blush, so I'm gonna go in with um, Wet n Wild Sangria Castles again. All right, so to highlight, I'm gonna need something really potent. Uh, I'm gonna try Becca's Pearl Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed because I'm hoping that'll be stark enough to show up on top of all of this. Yeah, that's bright enough. It's funny because now I just feel like gold, white, bronze. <laughs> okay, I need some brows. Um, hmm. I can try the veining in the powder in the Wet n Wild. 
Uh, again, it's a shimmer palette, a boozy brunch. And there are some darker veins in there. I'm gonna try to stick my angled liner brush into and fill in my brows. They may even be too dark, but at this point it's like, might as well go all in. I'm not hating how the brows are turning up actually. Shiny brows are in? New trend, maybe? Making quite the dent in here because it's just like one vein that's darker than the rest of them. <laughs> All right, I'm done with the face because I don't think I left anything out. Uh, for my lips, I'm going to use a Benefit's What's Up because it's the only thing that I really have that's kind of like a cream stick formula and I didn't think anything else was gonna work too well. So I'm just gonna put some on my finger and then pop it on my lips. All right, that's it. That's my full face with highlighter. Um, it feels really, really itchy and tight. It's funny, it doesn't feel strange to my like to my fingertips, but it, on the skin, man, it feels heavy. It's unbelievable how light foundation feels to me now compared to this, because this just feels like cake face. Obviously not a wearable look, still fun to do, kind of fun to stick like your brushes inside your highlighters and just use them as setting powders, because that's something I would never do. And there's aspects of it that I don't hate. The brows with some shimmer through it are actually really kind of fun. And I'm not hating the lip color, but that's maybe because it matches with everything else that's going on. I also think the eyes worked out incredibly well. It's more of a um, soft pink, beachy, shimmery look that it's really actually quite attractive. I, I like the eyes a lot. Anyway, I am super excited to wash this all off my face, so I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.